Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and Cody stuff on Twitch and YouTube. This problem is called Plus One. Oh yeah, check the description for all my information. Premium problems on Patreon. Reach out to me via Discord if you want to. Uh, plus One is a uh, easy problem and it is given a non-empty array of digits representing a non-negative integer plus one to the integer. Uh, the digits are stored so that the most significant digit is at the head of the list and each element of the array contains a single digit. You may assume the integer does not contain a leading zero. So this array represents a digit. So this array would represent 123. Um, so this is the most significant digit on the left and least on the right. And no leading zeros. So we have to add 1 to this number and in this case we just do 1, 2, 4. Um, we just add 1 to the last number, that's it. And in this case, 4321, 4321, we, we just return 4322. So it's pretty easy. Uh, the Basically, here's the problem. The It's not even really a hard problem. That's probably why there's some dislikes. But if it's 1, 2, 3, all we have to do is find, all we have to do is find a number. Um, the only difficult case is like... If this is a 9, right, when we add 1, this becomes a 3, and then this becomes a 0, right, 130. 129 becomes 130. But it's still not that big of a deal. Basically, what we have to do is we set, uh, we find no, the only hard case is 999. Because the size, the, every case is pretty easy except for 999 because you have to increase the size of the... Uh, array by one because it becomes 1000 um so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to loop backwards and look for a number less than nine so in one two three this is less than nine but if it was nine um we would wait until we get here and then we add one to it and then until we get there we make every digit a zero so we just, you know, at, if it was 2, that's less than 9, so we change it to a 3, and at every digit we change it to a 0. So that's pretty much it, and if it's all 9s, we have to make a new array. So we just, we'll do this, we'll say, okay, n is equal to digits.length um, for int i equals n minus 1, so from the last index to the first index of the array, we will do i minus minus. If um, digits of i is less than or no less than nine we are gonna do okay that's good we can just add an we can add one this adds one to that number and we can just return that's it all we had to add we just had to add one to the number overall so we can just return digits otherwise we haven't found a nine yet so we i mean we haven't found a number less than nine so it must be all nines so any nine we see we have to turn to a zero because eventually later in the array or earlier in the array, we have to change, we have to increment a number, so all these are zeros. So if we see nines, like um, 1, 2, 3, 3, 9, 9, 9, you know, this 9, we, we're looping backwards from the end, and we see um, it's not less than 9, so we have to change it to a 0, not less than 9, change it to a 0, not less than 9, change it to a 0, up oh, less than 9, so we just change this up by 1. And that works perfectly, right? Because all we had to do was increase by one, and uh, you know that number one, uh, whatever the number the twelve thousand, no, one hundred twenty-three thousand nine hundred ninety-nine plus one is one hundred twenty-four thousand. So it works perfectly. Um, in the case it's all nines, that's the case we had to worry about. That's the only one is you have to make a new array for that. So you have to do okay new uh, number is equal to new int and you have to increase the size because it's going to be 4 instead of 3 so you just take the size of it, you add 1 and um, you just make the first number I mean the first number has to be a 1 because it was all 9's so it's going to turn into a 1000 like in this case so you increase the size and you just make the first number a 1 and then you uh, return the new number so that's it. It's just until you find a number less than 9, you loop. If you find one, you increment it, you return, making all the zeros before that if they were 9s, and then um, if not, you make a new int, increase the size. That means they were. this is the case, they were all 9s. Um, so this problem is really easy. The only thing is the... Um,
digits of zero is equal to, I mean, digits of I, sorry, digits of I is equal to zero. I don't want to redo the video or edit that, so please bear with me with, you know, I know that sucks that I did that, but whatever. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, pretty easy problem. Let me know if you have any questions about it. Hopefully that didn't mess you up. You're making each number a zero if it's a nine, because you have to change the one before it. I think I explained it, and I did enough examples, so. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love, I love you, too. Bye. That. All right. Getting weird. All right, bye.